In the previous lecture, we solved our problem number 2 on maximum power transfer theorem and now we are going to solve our problem number 3. And in this problem, we are required to find the value of voltage VL, this voltage for which the maximum power will be transferred to the load. Now when you observe the given network, you will find these two parallel branches are forming the load of this network and in branch number one we have one resistor with value 200 ohms and in branch number two we have one resistor with value 50 ohms in series with VL voltage source and according to the question we need to find the value of VL for which the maximum power will be transferred to the load. This problem is an interesting problem and before I explain you this problem, I want you to pause this video and try to find out VL on your own. I hope you are done. Now we will understand what will be the solution for this problem. We know according to maximum power transfer theorem, maximum power will be transferred to the load when the load resistance is equal to the Thevenin's equivalent resistance of the network. So we will first focus on calculation of the load resistance and then we will find out RTH. We want to find out RL. Why? Because we have combination of elements as the load. Now when you start calculating RL, you will find difficulty because of presence of this voltage source. So what we will do is we will replace this voltage source with a resistor and which theorem we are going to use for this purpose we are going to use substitution theorem we know substitution theorem it was our theorem number seven and it says we can replace an element with another element or combination of elements if we can maintain the same voltage at the terminals so we can replace this voltage source by a resistor if we can maintain the same voltage across this resistor. Now I will name it R sub L and I will name our total resistance RL EQ representing the equivalent resistance. Now when you see the combination, you will find RL equivalent is equal to 200 ohms in parallel with 50 ohms plus RL. So we have RL equivalent equal to 200 ohms in parallel with 50 ohms in series with RL. Or we can write RL equivalent is equal to 200 ohms multiplied to 50 plus RL divided by 200 plus 50 plus RL that would be 250 plus RL and this should be equal to the Thevenin's equivalent resistance of the network. So now we will focus on calculating RTH. To find out RTH we will open circuit the load and we will short circuit the source. We will have this modified network and from here we can see that RTH is equal to 100 ohms. So RTH is equal to 100 ohms. Now when you simplify this you will have RL. RL is equal to 150 ohms. So RL should be equal to 150 ohms in order to transfer the maximum power to the load. But this is not what we want. We want to find out value of VL for which maximum power will be transferred to the load. And we can have it by multiplying RL to the current in this branch. Let us say that current in this branch is equal to I sub L. We can have current IL if we can find out current in this branch. Let's say current is I in this branch. Now I will be equal, I will be equal to 20 volts, 20 volts divided by 100 plus 
200 in parallel with 50 plus 150. That would be 200 in this branch. So we have 100 plus 200 in parallel with 200. 200 in parallel with 200 is equal to 100. So we have current i equal to 20 divided by 100 plus 100 that would be 20 divided by 200. So from here we have current i equal to 1 over 10 ampere. And current i which is 1 over 10 amperes will get divided equally at this node. Why? Because this branch and this branch will offer the same resistance and therefore i l current i l will be equal to 1 over 20 ampere. Now we can have v l. v l is equal to i l multiplied to r l. We know I L it is equal to 1 over 20 and R L is equal to 150. 150 unit will be volts. So V L is equal to 7.5 volts. So in this way we have the answer of the problem. When V L is equal to 7.5 volts maximum power will be transferred to the load.